All right, guys, there's your eyes. I'm uh, going to give you the choice between uh, round pupils or square pupils. So uh, I'll show you those real quick. Well, they're a little googly right now. Uh, round pupil down and over. Ooh. We'll maybe give them some centers. I mean, obviously, you could put skins on any of this stuff um, if you want it to look, you know, special, custom. Um, but, uh, you know, right now it's just, I mean, this is 1.0 for me. I've, I've never done a uh, total head face rig. Um, so there's your choices there. I stick with the square ones just for because I like it. Uh, no, nope. want the square ones back, and then the round ones are. I guess the round ones are bigger. Oh, there you go. And then uh, so we can pick. We don't want the whites of the eyes to ever move. There's no point in that. Uh, top eyelid. We gotta get those together. Because sometimes you're gonna want to select both at the same time and then you're gonna scale the Y. So, okay, so you can close the eyes way down, open them way up with just scaling. So that makes it pretty easy to get get back to uh, where you want to be. Um, the sides of the eyes, the left and the right sides, um, they're also going to be scalable together. I believe that is Y. No, that is not Y. We'll go weird and then we'll use the undo button because that's not what we wanted to do. Z, let's check Z. Okay, so they're set up so they both grow in so you don't have to... they have opposite uh, points of reference there. So uh, we can do this and then we want to go between the eyes. Uh, that's probably not exactly where I want it. That up a little higher. Okay. Um, between the eyes, we can make that wider. Okay, and then we can uh, do the eyelids again. So I'm a little slow on the shiftiness here. Uh, but uh, so, which one did we say it was? There it is. So we can go real little. We can go way wide open. You see how um, on different characters, this is pretty customizable. Uh, the distance between the eyes, the size of the eyes, how far the eyes open and close. Uh, it's not really hard to understand, but I don't think, I think without uh, watching this, that you could do a really good job of like uh, really messing messing some stuff up, you know. Uh, boy, in between the eyes is pretty critical. Um, and uh, if you cut the holes in your uh, in your facial skin, and you want this stuff to match. Uh, it's good because like when you're at an extreme angle like this you won't be able to see between your head and the eye it'll give you a really funny so hopefully um, when you place this on you're gonna place that uh, thing right into the skin so that you got that little buffer there between uh, the outer skin the eyelid or whatever you want to call that and then the the, uh, the white of the eye uh, so we're going to go between the eyes. We're going to scale that down because it looks hideous. Make it really narrow if you want to make super eyes. I mean, you get a lot of flexibility in this. The extra work that I put into it uh, for myself because I am I'm I'm sort of OCD, and uh, I probably if I I looked, I'll bet you there's rigs that are whoop, did that again. Undo so I don't have to guess what it was. I think the Z. something like that uh, and I guess I could put these in folders so if I wanted to change them the same I wouldn't have to select them but there's gonna be a lot of times 
that I want to change them individually. Uh, so this is where it would be nice if you could set up like a different control. Um, yeah, folders would make this easier, and maybe I'll do that uh, eventually here. I don't think the eyes are exactly the same uh, with proper, so I may need to slide some things around just just a little, but it definitely gets the uh, the idea across. If you didn't see the beginning of this video, or if I had to split it into two parts, I will quickly show you. Uh, the jaw and how that would turn off all the eye controls so that now we have the okay so the bottom jaw uh, the upper jaw uh, lips so the bottom jaw has has bottom lips that you can scale um, that pull down or, or up depending on how you scale them and the bottom teeth are locked because you don't want to change those as long as well as the chin that's just the underside and you probably don't want to change that uh, especially not during animation I don't think um, the tongue does animate uh, it can be moved rotated it's in there it rotates at the back of the mouth uh, the default rotation puts it right flat in the mouth at a re relaxed thing so you can use that I'd, I'd like to get to a point where all the rigs, you know, the, the return to relaxed position is, is just this button, but I, I've yet to quite get that. I'm, I'm definitely learning. Um, for 1.0, um, I'm happy with how far I've come. So anyways, the rotation point of the jaw is way up inside the head. So when you rotate the jaw, it opens in a more natural, like you can see inside, and it opens in a, a fashion that works. Any wider than this, and the cheeks get a little funny. Uh, when it's open like this, I can show you the tongue. I'm going to turn that off so that. Uh, and. Da, 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 la, la, la. Right. So uh, the tongue. The back of the throat, you can put like one of those things in there and zoom way in. Oop. Zoom way in. Ah. So the cheeks have an inside uh, and it has depth. You know, so. Uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, next video, maybe I, I haven't put it in a skin yet. I really don't know how well it's going to work. I'm going to have to make, I'm assuming, a bunch of crazy uh, changes. It looks great until I try to actually use it. The nice thing about this is you don't have to use a model. You can just slip this right into... Uh, boy, I haven't saved in a really long time. You could just uh, always save. Um, the bad thing, one of the really awful things about this right now is that Recoloring will require you to go into each and every individual part. Um, and so I guess in graphics, uh, let's see how I would do that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Texture. I would have to change it to a, a texture so that those things could be changed uh, instead of having a mix color. So if you have a, don't have a flesh-colored face, uh, there's some work to be done, which um, I've seen other people how they do it with a texture, and it's just, you know, the, this flesh color, whatever it may be, and you change it to, so that it changes easily. So this is a 1.0, and uh, it doesn't do it easily yet. But uh, I hope you'll like some of the ideas I have about how uh, the jaw works and the cheeks and everything. Um, you won't really see the cheeks back in here because they'll be inside the head uh, and uh, yeah I hope you like it uh, maybe it'll give you ideas for how you want to do your own rigs um, spine reference here we go so I mean it it, it, it breaks down to um, 
a pretty, it's, it's not hard once you collapse it, it's only a couple of lines there. Um, uh, face controls. So um, it all drops down into one. I'm happy with it. I really am. Uh, I learned a lot from you guys. I'm not going to say that I, I invented all these different features on my own because I, I definitely took the best parts I could find from all the, the different rigs that I, I saw. So I want to finish off by uh, thanking everybody on uh, the minor Minimator forums, uh, especially uh, David, who <laughs> This is an amazing piece of software for one person to have uh, put together, so thank you very much. But uh, all the people who have uh, posted uh, rigs for uh, me to test out, I, I learned a lot, even from the ones that I, I didn't want to use, um, because I said, well, I wanted to do this instead of this. Building it from uh, scratch without any idea what I was doing would have taken tons of time, but I looked through all the rigs that I could find by all the great people who are uh, building and releasing that stuff for other people to use and uh, so I took the best parts I could find and I tried to uh, come up with solutions to the problems uh, that I was having and how and so thank you very much uh, I hope to be able to, to contribute more stuff uh, in the future and uh, I've got some great animation ideas that uh, this is part of and just a small part of it. it's unbelievable how much work uh, that goes into making uh, an interesting animation so I, I gotta give a lot of credit to people on the, on the forums they, they produce some really amazing stuff and thanks for watching